Is it different being here? It's, it's, uh, it's actually been quite amazing to come back here after being away for so long, especially in such a green and vibrant place uh, as the Mara. <clears throat> you know, when I left here and I went up there, it was, it was always, it, you're always inevitably going to be comparing the two. And, and it wasn't such a big change for me to go from here to there, but the change from there to here has been extreme. It's, uh, it's obviously uh, winter here. Not only is it winter, but it's also our dry season. So it's compounded with this, just this, uh, this scorched, uh, bleak landscape that we have. Um, as opposed to that very green, vibrant, uh, also rainy uh, Mara. But there's a different feel to here. There's a different smell to here. It's, uh, it's crazy. And I actually thought that the drive all the way down here from Kenya, I drove myself down uh, from there over a course of about nine, nine days or so. I actually thought that that would have acclimatized me to, to, uh, to winter, but it hasn't, absolutely. I mean, I must be honest, I think I crossed the border into South Africa from Botswana. Um, and I think it's because I drove through the Kalahari. So the Kalahari extends into Botswana and you drive, you drive basically from the Zambezi River all the way through the Kalahari until you get into South Africa. And I think that that desert part there, I mean, you expect the desert to be sandy and dry and, uh, and gray this time of the year. Um, but I didn't expect it to be like this. For some reason, against all odds, I suppose, I mean, I've been working in this area now for almost close to two decades. You'd think that I'd be used to the winter here. But I must be honest, the clouds came with me, which is a good thing. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to, uh, to, this particular, uh, to this particular change of seasons. Louise, could you just reply with,